I mean, I, I know from experience, it's got to be bad. That, that room's got to be flatulated. Yeah, I know. Arrow I'm... hits with the Burrow Strike top, but he's already shifting. He should be fine. Now Nushim's the one in trouble. Oh, Shards no. He looks Marana. very dead here. No oh, leap. Oh, boy. Yeah, no leap and no way out. Feeling. Well, he feels good getting that first one. Definitely not uh, not the start you want to have in this uh, sinking Marana lane. Them in the top lane and Jenkins. What a sandstorm. One of the lowest sandstorm durations I've seen in a while. It's like <laughs> half a second. Gets absolutely nothing from it. Good uh, good charge block, but where's the damage? RRL, RRL is there. Roche, Roche, Roche. Nope, not going to help out. Trying to deny to Roche. Now Roche kind of helping uh, them get that kill on the feeling. So he gives, he takes. And he also holds an Aegis. So that's the job of Roche at the moment is they'll at least get the charge. See if they're now well, they're gonna try and go over for this mid tier one. They get the bottom tier one, Fartis J coming the other way, and uh, get even more out of this. Really shrink the map. This is something we saw a lot of the better teams in the uh, Div 1 do. Shrink the map, and RRL are gonna go down to that Wrath of Nature as Sonic and Nushim lining up to help get the damage before that Wrath of Nature came in. Shards, uh, sort of well placed, but you still have a leap. You've got the Rolling Thunder continuing in a swashbuckle. Out there as Nushim gets the final blow onto the tusk, and that means they're getting the tier one tower over mid as well. Yeah. As I said, these nations may problem. or may not have a lot. I I gotta tell you something, B Cup. Uh, listening to you, like you say a lot of smart stuff. I feel like you did improve a lot during the Div 2 because of your co caster. I think he might be the best in the world. Uh, going in, Primal Roar used there on a Sonic, and they'll take out the tiny sharpshooter is not gonna get a kill. And, uh, you know, it looks like both these teams are pretty even. Jenkins going in. As Epicenter, Blink, Burrow Strike, RRL. He's going to fall here to Jenkins. At least get one in return on the side of another NA team. And it's just back and forth with a 3K, now 4K net worth lead for Fart Studios. The Roach having Nature's Profit with maxed out Nature's Call does help out quite a lot. And they're smoked, bottom lane. They have that blink, so can close the gap. Do they have the damage to follow it up? Blink, burrow strike, push whack, doesn't land, arrow hits. Couldn't get the creeps in front of himself in time to stop that arrow. And then that's all the while while I Annihilate's mid, looking to get some damage here with the shield crash at the end. The right clicks from Fartis J and Fueling comes in, at least trying to trade, but a blink burrow strike from Jenkins means it's a three for one over the map. Oh, Fueling gets uh, the kill there, but overall the trade doesn't really... So he's only protecting against that, does not want to get bursted by Sanking, but there's also a bunch of other spells that he needs to be afraid of. Swashbuckle, the Gleipnir item that we mentioned. Rolling Thunder, Arrow, and the Control. Now they've got the Burrow Strike. They have not let RRL move, but they still don't have the damage to get the kill. They're going to Snowball and bring over this Morphling. They get RRL as well as Ush. Now the Morphling as well as the Tusk trying to fight the TP from. Fartus J is not going to be enough as they'll use the Adaptive Strike to get the stop on that and get a kill. Sonic's also going to die here to the Morphling. So Morph coming in and Argus is going to get a double kill and that works out well for another NA team after losing. Supposed to be the big timing for Fart Studios having this Gleipnir on Nature's Prophet that we mentioned. Also why is Fart as Jay walking? He does have a, this global presence. He does have teleportation. Arrow, RRL in trouble again. Bushwhack not going to land. Yule's up into the air. Now they get the kill there on the Warden. Yeah, had the Hunter's Boomerang oh, hitting the damage no. on Fartis J. Doesn't want to die back to back, but he will. And they still cannot kill off this Lashrac. There are three heroes here that are all going to burn out to this Lashrac. As he just stands there and pulses. Level 14 does have a casual cloak, and that Fairy Trink can definitely help him out. Good shards. Oh, good shards. Godly shards. Yeah, keeping this Rolling Thunder away for at least a good amount of the duration. Lightstone in now, a second. Toss. Into the Rolling Thunder, Swashbuckle, Bloodstone, Snowball on a Sonic. So they're going to continue to chase, and now they've got the Morphling. This is just all feed, feed, feed for Fart Studios. All right, they, they're they kind of losing it today. Oh, Nushim. This is going to be a full team wipe. He has no leap charges available. They're just trying to get the Vision Waveform. Adaptive Strike, there it is. Full team wipe for another NA team, and all of a sudden that 5k net worth lead is gone. Yeah, like... These 5, 10, 15, 20k definitely do have enough damage to bring him down.
These long running fights definitely favor another NA team at the moment. What's a way that they can get another item to potentially burst these heroes uh, quicker? Hold that thought. Bro strike short. And this is kind of awkward, but Yules, the Wrath of Nature, and a Star Storm. Still going to get the kill there on a feeling, even though the Burrow Strike wasn't that great. Not the greatest, not the worst. I've seen people not even use Burrow Strike, so got to give uh, plain. three points to Jenkins out of ten. Yeah, that's another death from I Annihilate. At one point, three, he, was, yeah, he was 1-1-1 one, one, one and going to help out Dyer. They know exactly where they are. They're also underneath the vision from Dyer, so let's see if they decide to approach this one. Ancient Ice Shaman, my favorite. Oh, Avalanche toss, and now the Bloodstone activated. Bro Strike, Empty Center, they got the damage to get the kill on Osh, but here comes the Morphling, and they get the kill on RRL, so the two of these heroes are already gone. Taking the little Shrak out was their biggest problem in the previous engagements. They've also got a kill under the toss. They're just going to fight here on the morph. Jenkins has the Burrow Strike ready. The arrow to follow it up. Bushwhack lands onto the sand. Cool comes combo. out looking like it's going to matter. And they've got everything to get the kill there on Argus. As I said, it's anyone's game to take. But this time around, Jenkins gets, gets a really good Burrow Strike epicenter in the back lines. Uh, Full T.Y. And they still got the Horton. Yeah, the graph looks... Uh, Pretty like wild. Energy. Yeah, it's just another NA game. On a two, Avalanche, BKB, Primal Roar, it's on the Marana. Goes up into the air, Nushim surviving, but BKB's now been popped by RRL, so they need to start to leave on this. I Annihilate, he doesn't have Rolling Thunder, but he does have the roll up. Now a Swashbuckle the other direction. Shield crashing once again, but they're just not doing the damage to either of these heroes. Tiny. Yeah, Warden comes over and gets a Bushwhack, and they have the follow-up stun, so Fort Studios again, the aggression biting them heavily down to even one more time they're thinking that the rest of the team is smoked behind maybe try to bait him this time around i man smoke from another na team and smoke and smoke action over. like shadow breaking the smoke throw strike early onto the tusk but they're trying to take the snowball out of the equation they've got the rolling thunder as well as the roll up they'll get the kill with the stars from the buyback's gonna come in for the tusk now they're looking, Primal Roar lands on to Fartus J, and he's by himself, so he is just gonna die here. They left him all up. Snowball and I Annihilate, stun lands on a Sonic, Arrow comes in, and it's not gonna land on anything. They get the kill on I Annihilate, three-man avalanche, but it's not gonna matter. These heroes need to leave. They've already lost their one and their two, and it looks like another NA team are gonna take another NA fight in their favor. They did buy back on feeling. Oh, the warden finds yeah. another one. I mean, it's uh, it's tiny. Whenever I see tiny, I'm like, yeah, that's a core. Second Rochon being taken. Argus will definitely pick it up. He doesn't mind. If you're looking to check some boxes. Yeah, empowering his colleagues. Need... Uh, like, yeah. so he co co his colleagues are doing a much better job. Sonic. Oh, what was that? Blink. Oh, boy. And they are going to get the kill on the tiny, it looks like. But Burrow Strike and an Avalanche on a two stops that from happening. So they rotated well. Fartus J still trying to fight, and the aggression is right onto the Nature's Prophet. That's all they want. He doesn't have a BKB anymore. Sprout, leashing, very balanced talent. This is two Wave versus four, no, five. And, uh, they're still trying to fight. Jenkins, Burrow Strike, Epi Center. Do they have the damage? Glatenir coming out. Sonic's finally going to fall. Bloodstone's not going to be enough, and they get the Aegis out of the hands of this Morphling. So even with the massive lead, now all of a sudden, it's looking like Park Studios are going to win a fight here. Burrow Strike going to kill the Morphling. Four Staff Manta, Waveform, and a kill on Anushum all on his way out. Might be through a body bag, but right now he's at least getting something done, and he finally dies the part of the day. Back and forth, back and forth. They do kill two supports immediately. They do kill Beastmaster, and then it, it's so good, but the, we don't see too much of a sanking, and we don't see sanking hitting 25 in those games anyway. Ally. They're going to come all the way through with the Moonlight Shadow and throw down an OBS. And they're going to split this fight up very quickly. Sonic going the other way. I know it's already taken out here by Argus. And they've got the BKB pop by Ush. They get two kills very quickly. Both those heroes have buyback, but it cleaned up like that. Does not feel great. And Fortis J is pushing the lane, but immediately a TP out from our Prioritize, but uh, against like some heavy clickers, uh, like Nature's Prophet, if he pops. BKB, but yeah, this is uh, Mega Creep Epi Jenkins Center. going in. Burrow Strike. One last and ride. They've got the Aeon Disc. They're going to try and go for it. They've got the Sun on a couple coming out from the Lashrak. 
RRL, a really rad Lashrac is helping out and getting these kills. We get the buyback coming out from Sonic. Jenkins dies. He's gone for 95 seconds. Walrus punch in the air with BKB. Fart SJ trying to get out, but the team stun lands from RRL, and they'll take out Fart SJ. So without the Nitra's profit, a lot of their damage, a lot of their control is lacking, but maybe they can hold. But it's going to be up against Megas and Morphling ripping through this base. So yeah, they can hold for another five is... seconds because Throne is going down. Oh, the Warden. Warden. Argus. Well, the rest of the team is just hitting the base. They get the kill on a Sonic. Now they're rolling Thunder. Do they have the damage to get anybody else? They get Fueling, Primal Roar. Now they'll focus the Throne. They don't want to throw this one away. And they're going to get the first game for another NA team. Nicely done. Uh, the game did look pretty rough, I would say. Uh, concerning the start, like their NA team can beat NA team. <laughs> yeah, that is definitely the proper phrasing when it comes down to it. But I, I think uh, in terms of these two drafts, hold that thought. Nushim, steal his end, has Ooh. 10 stake charges. We'll still go down. Kill. Yeah, stick or no stick. Not going to matter. Nushim still falls here to Argus, who had a very good game as that Morphling in game number one. Yeah, he looked pretty solid. I think he looked the best out of all 10 players, I would even say, in terms of the itemization, what he did, the, the way he Fortis moved J. around the map, and Fartis J with the classic. Pick me the hero. He knows the matchup. Uh, he knows the lane, but still dies in the end. Yeah, there's a reason why we don't see this Jug being picked up. Level one on Jug. About to crack level is two. Jenkins uh, will get a Jack. kill here in the bottom lane. Turblade. Let's see. He's CSing Knight. Juggernaut. By building Falcon Blade. Yeah, this is Juggernaut uh, hitting level six. Let's see what he decides to do. Spins mid lane. Uh, going into Hand of Midas next. My favorite. Recovery Midas oh, on Juggernaut. He looks pretty dead here. Yeah, they found another speed to kill once again. They, uh... Oh, this oh, is a big kill. Uh, Vision gets pinged out, not going to do anything. And then uh, Argus going down to I Annihilate. Well, getting that kill onto the most farmed one position. Which they're... going to be tough, though. Ooh, what do they have coming for Fart Studios that might... Defuse the blade, and this is going to be another one. Storm. Global Potentially, but Shadowfiend's tanky. Yeah, Not he is going to finally die as they came back with the Rolling Thunder, but Scatterblast, Surge, Spear, and the Cookie all missing. Yeah, there it goes. RSJ coming in, Blade Fury right on top of Fueling. They've got the wall down. It's onto the Warden, vacuuming him back, but that doesn't really get him a kill. And he's able to walk away while Fueling will eventually die to I Annihilate with this double damage. They'll bring back the Warden with the Glimpse, but there's the Arena. The Spear lands with the God's Rebuke to get the kill on Eye Annihilate. Oh, Stolen Spear. That's a big one. Kisses. Kisses. Where's the follow-up? They need some kind of a Good spear. stun. But it's Jay about to finish off his hand of Midas. Needs another 100 gold. But this is a big steal. That uh, Spear of Mars that we talked about pins him to tower. Oh, Eye Annihilate drops very low. This is the Diffusal Blade. That was just finished. So, I want to see them move around the map with this Diffusal Blade and just go for the kills. Play with the Darkshire a Vacuum. A mech is available on Darkshire, so play with these two together. Add Disruptor, who's uh, fairly high level, level 8. But uh, seems like that's not going to save him here. Cookie into Raze. What a combo. Yeah, looking like a solid one-two punch, and uh, well, the game's sitting a little bit in favor of another enemy. Consistent at what you're doing. I Annihilate now wants to get in. He also does have Illusion Ruin to dispel the Global Silence, potentially. There's the Global, Kinetic Field looking for the Requiem, but the Rolling Thunder. Now the Arena, Blade Fury, Static Storm all down. And RRL, well, he'll survive. They've got the Sunder and the Stolen Arena, the Fable. The Warden's going to go down. Jenkins ends up dying. They'll get the Requiem away. And they're going to chase Nushim here. They should be able to at least get this kill on top of it as uh, Bart SJ. Omni was used on this neutral camp mostly. He was speared afterwards and now trying to run, but won't be able to. That was, That's a I don't know if you caught that, but that was an Omni completely on a neutral camp. 
5k yeah. lead mark and Argus doesn't have mana. Jenkins is here. He's got a wall down. Vacuum back. No Sunder for 44 seconds. Ah. Has three charges in that wand and he's probably just going to die to the Ion Shell. Nah, he's fine. He's, faster. he's fine. <laughs> Arena, Spear, there's a kill in return. That's actually kind of not, not that bad. Because they might even get Jenkins too if they could spot him in the trees. Cookie. So he should be A-OK. -okay. And they also don't have abilities to stun lock him. So we'll be able to get his BKB off and the Requiem. And also does have a global silence to follow it up. Big glimpse. There. This is coming down. Magnetic Field, Static Storm. Now the Spear. And well, this is going to be a dead hush. Sonic getting credit for that kill, getting a three-time spree out of his hands and feeling, uh, not having the best feeling about moving up on that one. Hey, interesting one. Uh, there's no, not enough Roshan damage. Extra evasion, you just be, need to be tanky enough to be able to get your damage done. Argus gets a Sunder off. Sunder, and they use the Global Silence, the uh, Cookie to get back. I annihilate this, uh, Rolling Thunder's gonna end in just a moment. Oh. With feeling and the warden here, can they get any? No, I know. Break the swatch blade just at the edge. Yeah, the break the blade the, doing some work. This Link. is a big arena spear. That's huge. Good pop. Really well done. Getting that jump and getting that kill. Gain rune. Oh, big sunder. What a play. Uh, not getting out of this one. Yeah, or right is he? Lead. What? What? Oh, what? He will. What? He's alive, and or oh, whoa, 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 what are you doing? He's down a little bit of health, and now he's going to try and get away from this one, but he'll end up popping to Jenkins. Global Silence just not going to help him out in time. Whoa, RRL just jumping in, and Ush goes down. 5k leads. They're never safe. Glimpse on the feeling, and another kill there for Fart Studios. They were disengaging, or at least trying to, and then the fight came to them. Not sure what happened there. I don't think the... Other cores, but Pango has been doing a lot of work in these fights. The Brigand's Blade, then also having the Yule Scepter to dispel the Global Silence, and now holding a onto Shard. That roll up. Healing uh, is pretty oh, dead. You should, he has really been the MVP for Fart Studios to keep them game. I, I want to say. Yeah, having some really good stolen spells. Uh, we did mention the. Spear, also Cookie, now holding on to Arcane Curse. There's some really good spells to steal, and also in that fight, he landed in Static Arena. Storm. Wall down. Can they get the kill in time? He's got Sunder if he can survive, but he can't. The Static Storm is long enough, and I Annihilate is going to get a kill here on Argus, and we're back to even. Yeah, I think at this point, like, there needs nah, this, this is just, like, very hero-specific. Uh, Ricky's dart definitely going to get nerfed, so... It's not all about that 15 minute mark. I'm a big fan of the shards. I just think some Rolling of them thunder. need to be. Oh, another Arcane Rune for an I Annihilate. They got the glimpse back, so this is a kill on the Warden. He did this in the first game where he kind of fed his life away for the greater good. Fartus J going in with the Surge. Blade Fury Requiem. That lands onto the Pango. We're another. We've got the Arena as well as the Spirit's going to be onto the Pango as well. I Annihilate ends up falling to RRL. Telekinesis, so he's a little bit low. And the Stolen Requiem gets the Fear and the Omni Slash onto RRL. So they put it together to get themselves two. It's a double kill for Jenkins, and that was well done by Nushim again. He has just been the saving grace. Not soon, but the Sonic man, he farmed up. Uh, this is the big combo, like one of the reasons why he's going for that item, because it's a game changer. So if they can combo that with the vacuum and wall, uh, this is what wins you the game, especially if you can make right. an Illu off TB, like even Illu of Shadowfin, Ooh. another Requiem. From Nusham, yeah. they get a kill, and it's gonna lead to them also getting feeling. A new, hands down, Fort Studios win this game MVP. We don't even need production like they. You're making their job much. Sonic He's been relatively Fortune. involved, having that glimpse, and also in terms of this like front line, it's not too bad. You have this juggernaut now, who's uh, relatively tanky. He is uh, oh. recovering global. Requiem again. Arena Global kisses coming through and get the kill on Anushim. He got that sniped. Plus two for feeling. Instant and they smoke. smoked right off of that. I don't mind that, but uh, let's see the combo. Jenkins, he needs to be in a good spot. Needs to play with Sonic. Oh, Whew. 
I annihilate. Getting a three shot right there. That was some heavy damage coming in from Argus as well as RRL. That was hefty as they're going to take out feeling, but I mean, that is just the silence. It seems like they don't care about the, this silence that keep hitting him. Minute 30 on the second Roche. Let's see. Can you see the smoke through, but look at the silencer again, yeah. He's been across the river way too many times, away from the team. Does have buyback available if he wants to use it, but no global this time no around. Global. Refresher on Mars, Satanic on SF. Courier coming back with nothing. Now, BKB avoiding the glimpse. There's the Manta wall down on top of RRL, but the damage coming into Jenkins. They'll take him out very quickly. The kisses are on a Sonic. They've got the Refresher, and they'll use that Spear. Now the Stone Spear. That lands out of the Terror Blade. Requiem comes through, and they are able to get the kill on Argus as well as RRL and the Warding. So they clean up on Fart Studios after what looked like it was a Careful. Stone Spear again. Global Violence comes out. BKB's been popped. Bash on to Ush. Now the Abyssal. We've got the Swashbuckle to disarm him, but the Aegis, that's gone. They committed. Kisses. Kisses. Spear. Static Storm. But he's in the Metamorphosis. I don't know if it's going to matter. Normal Punch. And they get the kill into the Terrorblade. Argus is going to be end up dead. RL with the Requiem. They get the kill into Fardus J. So they'll end up trading their one position. To Zion Ily trying to get out of the arena. But Nushim with his own Requiem once again. That lands onto this Shadow Fiend. And they will get a kill into RRL once more. Looms back on the Warden. He tries to use that cookie to no avail. Four heroes out of the side of another NA team. Yeah, this uh, I Annihilate and Nushim are carrying uh, very smoke. So maybe they could use that fear. By the way, they're going to give up a free Pentage Sword. Nobody picked this up. Uh, Jenkins is like, I got you, bro. I'm going to pick it up. I'm going to become a carry. Okay. Uh, they gave that away for free stack storm, but the BKBs are early. The Global Silence comes out. They've got the Refresher. They'll have another Arena. The Spear lands. They get the kill on the Sonic. He's got buyback. They'll look over at Jenkins. The Requiem's going to come down. They get the kill onto the Dark Seer. Buyback on the Disruptor. Rolling Thunder. I and I like being annoying. Satanic is, is available, but Stolen, stolen Requiem again. again. And the Omni! And the Nushim every time! He is not. Uh, he, uh, like, Terrorblade needs to stay with his team. Like, they need one. So, Aghanim Scepter is available. Sonic just in with a blink. Thunderstrike, Blade Fury, Fartus J. Does he have to be careful? No, back he back. Punch. punch and RRL has to. Fade away from the fight a little bit, but all of a sudden the damage onto the Pangolier yields up into the air. They get the kill on a feeling. They'll take out the silencer. And Swashbuckle again. Now a spear. God, Nushim just continues Another to land illusion. these spells. Cookie. Static Not Storm be enough. and RRL is going to die. He's got no buyback. They will take out the Warden and that might just be it. Yeah, I don't think Mars alone can hold this. Uh, 45 seconds until Terrorblade respawns. It's a uh, very long time. There is one arena available. Uh, seven second duration if he wants to buy some time. Let's see. He's going Double in. Spear. He's B, not looking like it's going to matter as they will kill us. He'll buy back. They've got the silencer buyback that he is holding. Uh, saving it for the third game. It feels like it. One, one tier four gone. The second one drops as well. And this throne is in trouble vacuum back into the kinetic field fartus j now gonna lose this game they'll finally buy back on the silencer but it's too little too late the little silence won't matter and fart studios will take game number two a uh, big comeback from fart studios i i feel like it was more of a throw that them uh I had a teammate who had a very strong grasp on it today uh was playing lena one position and then they saw the razor in the off lane activate ult and they ran right in they died. Very nice. Uh, always love to hear about your pub experiences. This is what uh, <laughs> keeps me going forward in life. And the uh, new Sham draw. Getting first blood one more time. Feeling it's the. So, are we watching the replay? Uh, Shockwave. We'll uh, message Jenkins on WhatsApp right now. See what, yeah, see what's, what's this about. Probably a misclick. Uh, he has another one. No stick charges available. It's the new technology, and ooh, Jenkins, skewer, oh, at least gets feeling. Uh, I, I, I see what he did there. He kills the silencer, 
so he doesn't lose and dives underneath <laughs> the tower. Very well done by Jay. He's sitting at zero zero zero. Sonic did die that to one time, and uh, the lanes uh, in terms of CS going really well for Fartz Jay. Let's see the hook. Snowball is available. Gets him in the end. Oh, that spear missing though. So that means the warden is more than dead. Fartis J will get credit for that kill. And they're going to bring in the Death Prophet Exorcism. Fartis J, Phantom Strike over, actually closer to RRL. And they'll have the hook. Fartis J now going south, still trying to chase, but Sonic, well, it looks like he's going to soak the damage and eat this death because RRL Exorcism used and not really getting much tower damage. Still, though, thinking about going after Fart SJ, another stifling dagger. If he had a spirit. Now top once more, Sven backing up into the jungle, so no need to just station the silencer in a lane that's not being used. Stifling dagger, Sonic coming over from the side, spear lands, snowball connects, and now Fart SJ body blocks, and they've got the silencer with the waves, and they get the kill on a Fart SJ. Now, Rolling Thunder controlling these heroes, and Usha's gonna die. So, a good trade, but RRL is in again up into the top lane, and I Annihilate, he's got Swashbuckle in five. Shoot, throwing those glaives. And BSJ, like a good support, he is TPs and tries to refill the bottle from Pango, but something went wrong. I'm not sure what it was. It, it's not allowed, it only works if you're position four or five. Spear, Stifling Dagger again, but Sonic. He's gonna die, another plus two. Feeling though, he'll die right afterwards. They're gonna bring the Rubik in. The Warden's gonna TP out successfully. And Ush might need to think about leaving because it's a dangerous spot for him to be in. They've got the vision and well, now they're gonna go. Newsroom's here, I and I like still top. Guys, they stop, just stop going to the here. top lane, please. There's other lanes in the game. Robolus made, pops the EXO. Sonic is there. But uh, need that one scaling. Usually you have the offlane, but uh, rolling thunder. Another rolling thunder. A good angle. Like he bounced really he nicely. But then again, playing into Dead Prophet, like you need to be very careful. Like you get on top of Dead Prophet. Oh. Artist J still wants to kill on the warden. Stifling dagger finally does it. But how much have you committed for this? Spear actually a little bit back on that. Spirit Siphon, Fartus J is going to drop to RRL, who will lose his life. It's trades back and forth and back and forth. What? Battle Furious, even though they do have Magnuses on their team, is just to speed things up. But because uh, you can, can't really always play with Magnus, like if he's not there, this also means that... So. Arena and Rubik in trouble will eventually fall to us. They get the kill on Sonic as well. And this will be the tier one tower mid dropping. So two kills plus a tower is in this uh, series. Yeah, it seems like both of the teams uh, like either don't value it as much, especially the first Roche. Sven going in, lacking a little, some damage. If he had God Strength there, Potentially, that's a kill. Kill is there for Fart SJ to kill off healing. And now they're coming the other way. They've got the Walrus Punch on a Fart SJ. Shards block him in after he Phantom Struck over to Jenkins. Global Silence is used, and this is looking like a dead Magnus. They're going to even blink for more. Nushim on the run. But Ush is there with the blink as well as the spear. They've got the control. They'll spear the Sven back, but it won't matter. Get Good buyback from feeling like at least they get something done. They get the global off. This is why I would Radiant want uh, Magnus to get uh, slightly more farm. Guardian Greaves, uh, you dispel the global silence. You can reinitiate with the Scoover early on and then with RP follow up. But... Sonic too. Silence, Spear, lands, and another one. Argus getting a kill onto this Pudge and moving around the map really well. Quick. He does hold Eye of the Vizier at the moment, but uh, to have some extra range with the Lance with Arcane Supremacy maxed out, so like the cast range of the spell gets pretty ridiculous. Good global. Hush. Up in the air, global silence used, and I Annihilate is going to drop. They've got the snowball going after Nushim at the same time. Walrus punch up into the air, and now, well, Telekinesis Spear comes through. Nushim's going to die to the Stormhammer of Argus, and this Sven is 
out of control, and there really hasn't been much answer from FSJ just yet. And he wants that decimal. Of the RP. spelling things, but the RP. But global silence and RRL is going to survive. He's got that mech. The spear oh, connects the one on the tree. lonely tree. Oh, FSJ. Unfortunate for him. Phantom Strike. It's not looking like it's going to matter because everybody's here for another NA team, and they will get a kill onto this Phantom Assassin once again. And another, Ooh, another spear. spear. That's hey, uh, Rush is landing every single spear. Fart Studios, they have like relatively good. You can go for the solo pickoffs uh, once you have that Silver Edge level 18. That fence is going to be key with this spin. They smoked up as Fox Studios. Tough. But can you nothing Something. great snowball I mean, there's the snowball perfect honestly spear lands again the warden's still gonna die they've got the dismember it's controlling up rl but they've got the mech to get the kill on the part of jay and now well the lose rl sven gonna try and get into this fight annihilate very quickly the arena's gonna be off the mark unfortunately and yeah we'll only get not three. every spell can be perfect but Mask of Madness turned that into whatever he feels it's necessary in this one, whether that's a satanic or like we've even seen like Sven's pick pick up butterfly in certain matchups against these like heavy right click heroes. But uh, remember, Phantom Knives and get a kill on us. Ooh, and can they get anything more from this? Stolen Arcane Curse. Stifling Dagger pushing Argus away. Hook lands. BKB comes out as he's getting hooked over. And he'll free shot Sonic. They're going to go the other way. The RP, though, from Jenkins. Can they get anything out of this one? Arena's down, and it's only locking up Jenkins. But on the run is this Phantom Assassin of Fart SJ. They've got the ghost touching, but he's alive with 45 health. Oh, he gets the bash as well. Oh my, they're gonna go after I Annihilate. They'll get the kill onto the Pangolier. Somehow FSJ is gonna survive. Oh, Nusham will TP out. He knows the spot, but they caught a glimpse of him. Three pings immediately. 25. Hmm. So, as we get later and later into this game, it just feels like FSJ does not have every all the tools he needs to get these kills. Phantom Knives, Ghost Scepter. Last word, but Manta used. Spear. Stolen by Nusham. RL, silence on a two of these heroes. Sonic can't throw a hook from the high ground. Argus is going to spot him. Storm Hammer. Argus has got strength, but he's not even going to use it. Not a fudge. This is five fudge. He learned his lesson last time around. Roshan could respawn in 50 seconds. Well, uh, Yul Scepter on Panga. I'm not sure how comfortable he feels using that for two and a half seconds then try to roll in then you like have a cast time like transformation time of 1.2 seconds so it feels uh, like really bad it feels like half of the <laughs> one was already Spain wasted so it just gets in heroes. and gets stuff done god strength immediately in take them both out seal Roshan. the deal there with two Roshan. kills Roshan. and yeah no. There's the XO, Rolling Thunder. Oh, just blinking as the hook kind of looked like it made contact, but now Rolling Thunder. Horn Toss, but misses the skewer of Telekinesis. Now they've got the arena down, and Pudge trying to help out there with that shard, but can they even keep these heroes alive? Sonic's going to die. He'll buy back immediately. They've got FSJ in some trouble to cleave. The God Strength, the damage. Jenkins gone, Nusham gone, all buying back. Oh, oh. The skewer, not really working there, but telekinesis. BKB still trying to get him in, and uh, well, they've got the Aegis out of his hands. Can they skewer him in once again? Oh, the timing! And, oh, they've done it. All right, well, Sven's dead again. No buyback. He that got he got the kick. Need. Like this is this is the best spell you can get. Like it just gets ridiculous. Arcane now they supremacy get feeling, plus lens. Now they get ush. Never oh, mind, this dear. is it. This is the start of the comeback. Trust me. Oh, dear. Like, they needed to use what one, two, three, four buybacks, but uh, this is it. Kick and snowball, but Telekinesis throws himself all the way back. Oh, no, Jenkins. He was right onto the snowball, got stunned, and now needs to run. Exorcism was pop, rolling thunder, controlling the tusk. What did he steal this time? RP comes out on an RRL. 
Ooh, not doesn't connect on any of the trees. More. Jenkins gonna die here. They look over at FSJ. They've got the arena down. They'll get the kill and I annihilate. FSJ is gonna pop that BKB and Phantom Strike back a little bit. The buyback comes out from I annihilate. And well, refresher. Mars refresher on cooldown for 50. Sven. No B BKB for 20, but let's see if they can find Jenkins. He does have E on disc available. Blink in, Argus, Storm Hammer, Arena down. And they've got the Spear, the RP though. Jenkins silenced A on disc. Rolling Thunder coming through. Another Global Silence, so these heroes can't do anything. And another one. They get another Global Silence. So Jenkins, Sonic, they'll fall. Down goes Nushim. I Annihilate's gonna try and run back. They've got this XO going. Storm Hammer and the right quick damage onto the tier four towers. They'll call GG. And another NA team has beat Fort Studios. Yeah, this was uh, one of those that uh, they just uh, couldn't fight back. Uh, the Jenkins was on top of the network uh, from the start, decided to play with the Phantom Ascent.